Hello, wildlings. I'm your Creepsmith, and you found my Fear Forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Tonight's story, My Imagination, by Grinning Reindeer. Okay, so before I begin, I just want to say that this story is true. What I'm about to tell you really happened to me. I'm not just telling you this. This happened when I was a kid. We lived in a smaller house back then, and I shared a room with my elder sister. We had a bunk bed, and I slept in the bottom bunk, or tried to. For no good reason, I was afraid to sleep there. My parents got tired of me crawling in to sleep in their bed night after night, so they suggested that I sleep next to my sister in the top bunk. Sis wasn't too fond of the idea, but she finally agreed, on the condition that I'd sleep so that my head was lower at the level of her chest and not right next to her head, since I had once punched her in my sleep, causing her nose to bleed. I of course accepted the terms, since it got me out of the bottom bunk. I slept next to her, and everything seemed just fine. I no longer had nightmares, and I felt safer there next to my sister. But then one night, I just couldn't sleep. My sister, on the other hand, was smiling contentedly in her dreams. I listened to her steady heartbeat and watched as her chest rose with each inhale and fell with each exhale. I listened to the silent sounds of the night when I saw something dark Naturally, I turned to see what it was, but all I saw was the wooden edge of the bed. I thought it was nothing, turned back to look at my sister as she shifted in her sleep. But soon after I had turned away, I saw the movement again. I spun my head quickly this time to its direction, but again, I saw nothing. I started to get scared and I moved closer to my sister. I shut my eyes tight and waited until sleep took over me. The next morning, I woke to my sister's absence. I peeked over the bedside before climbing three steps down. Then I walked to the living room to find my sister watching television and went to watch the kids' show with her. I didn't mention that something that I'd seen moving next to the bed. I thought she'd laugh at me and tell me it was nothing. The day went on like any other, but the later it got, the more uneasy I became. I found myself stretching bedtime, but eventually our mother told us to go to sleep and that that was final. We brushed our teeth and went to bed. Parents came, kissed us goodnight. My sister was, again, fast asleep. I clutched my blanket and hoped that the movement had just been my imagination, but then it was there again. I was afraid of it, but I wanted to know what it was. I cautiously turned my head, but when I looked straight at it, it disappeared. I turned away, and as I'd thought, it returned. I turned again to see it, this time slowly and careful not to look straight at it, and it worked. I saw what it was, a hand, a bony, brownish-green hand with long black nails reaching over the rail of the bed. At this point, I was terrified. I automatically watched it as it moved, only to see it quickly pull away as scared as I was. I crawled over to my sister and looked over the edge to see what the hand belonged to. And there was nothing. Just the bare floor and the bottom bunk. I laid back in bed, and when I looked away, the hand rose over the edge again. I wanted to see it clearly, but as the hand reached over the side and finally cribbed the edge, I couldn't take it anymore, so I looked straight at it, causing it to retreat. I stared at the spot where it always rose, 
and it didn't rise back up. But, but I was getting tired, and I soon drifted to sleep. Each night, it was the same. I saw the hand, but never what it belonged to. I stopped seeing it when we moved to our current house, and my sister and I got separate rooms. I thought the hand had only been my imagination, fed by my fear of the dark, my nyctophobia, so I never mentioned it. It was a few years back that I was talking with my sister about our previous neighbors, a sweet old couple. When we started thinking of all the things that we remembered from that house, for the first time ever, I told my sister about that sickening green hand that I'd kept seeing. She looked at me strangely and said, I used to see it too. So stay scary, my wildlings. Remember that if something's actually happening, asking others about it isn't such a bad idea. And make the most of your nights.